But I had another concept of that I was miscon a misconception I had before I moved out here. I thought all gay guys was flamboyant. So I thought all gay dudes were flamboyant, man, and come find out they not. They come all different types. Some of them act just like me, talk just like me. You will never know it. I didn't know. I went on a gay date and I ain't know it. Hey, wait, hold on, let me tell you, let me, hey bro, let me tell you what happened first. I'm not gay, I'm just gonna let you know what happened. Cause I didn't know he act like me, talk just like me. I play a lot of basketball. I was gonna go to the NBA, I'm like, no, nah, I'm gonna let LeBron have it. I'm gonna go do these jokes at the Laugh Factory. That's why. So I'm doing comedy. I can hoop. <laughs> so long story, <laughs> I'm hooping one day. I don't know if you go to open runs for, you know, men and women, open gym. You pick your five, somebody else pick their five, the winner stay on. So I'm at the gym. In Hollywood, I'm at the gym. This dude, six five, walk in. I'm like, oh, he on my squad, off back. You know what I mean? <laughs> He gets on the court, we don't lose a game. This boy is special. You ever see somebody playing regular basketball? You're like, you don't belong here. Like, why are you not somewhere making millions? You are too gifted to be with us. Like, he was that good. I'm throwing him oops, he's jumping out. Ah, I'm like, ah, this boy is cold. Dang, this boy is nice. And that's a ba I'm a basketball fan. Understand, that's what I wanted to do. But I go on here, let them have that. I'm here. So when I see him, I'm intrigued. I'm like, man, I need to let him play with me in the leagues, in the little, you know, adult leagues. So after the run is over, I'm like, hey, bro, you nice, man. I'm like, you played professionally? He's like, yeah, I did. Played overseas. I don't play no more. He's like, hey, what you doing later? <laughs> nothing. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> He like, hey, I got Laker tickets. Put your number in this phone. You can roll. You want to roll? <laughs> yes, I want to go. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of? I'm going, bro. I offer you Laker tickets right now. You like, where, 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 where you want me to be? So he give me the phone. I put my number in his phone. <laughs> it's a Samsung. I don't know how to work. He like, cool, I'm gonna come pick you up. I'm like, and you gonna pick me up? <laughs> Do you know how much gas costs? I, I will be ready. <laughs> I will be there. <laughs> he gets to the house, he texts me, he like, hey right, bro, I'm downstairs. I'm like, bet, I'm still getting dressed. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> he got there early, he got there early. <laughs> Come get me, man. I come downstairs and he had the new Tahoe truck. I don't know if y'all seen the new Tahoe truck, but it's a nice truck. And when, when I came downstairs, the passenger door was open. But he was in a car seat. But I'm like, man, he's, the techno technology getting out of van. They got a button that can open the passenger door is what I'm thinking. And I don't know if you've been in the new Tahoe trucks, but when I got in the chair, the chairs are really big. So if you're not really a heavy set person, like it really consumes you. Like you're like, oh, it kind of hugs you. I was in the chair like, oh, this is nice. This is. He like, you like that? I'm like, yes, this is a nice, this is really nice. This is a nice, you got a nice car. This is, this is a great purchase, it is. Lonnie, I'm gonna finish it, please forgive me. So we get to the game, I'm thinking we'll have some decent seats. When we get to the game, we got floor seats. man at this dude wedding, if he got a best man, I'll be the ring bearer. I don't care. I'll be a grown man walking down the aisle with a pillow. Love didn't happen. Love. So we had, so we had the game, and I don't know if you ever sat, you know, I'm used to sitting where the peasants sit. I've never, I've never sat in the, at the floor, so when you sit at the floor, you get a menu. I wasn't used to the menu. You gotta have money. You gotta save up a few months' mortgages to buy some nachos down there. So I was looking a little conflicted because I wasn't prepared. He's like, hey, bro, whatever you want, it's on me. Wow. I was like, for real? Man, thank you, man. 
So we ordering food. He got cotton candy. You ain't had. He like, hey, bro, you want some cotton candy? My man, give me some cotton candy. He take a picture like, hey, Snapchat. Like, hey, cotton candy. Hey, you know, you know, hey, hang it up with my boy. You know what I'm saying? Long story short, man, we get game is over. We chilling. Everything cool. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing crazy. He take me to the crib. I, we talking. So I get out the car. He get out the car. I'm not like, well, okay. You know, we're still talking. Maybe he don't want the conversation to end. I don't know. That's not really normal for dudes to get out the car with you. You know, but never. It, it wasn't that crazy because he act like me. He talk just like me. You know what I mean? So I'm like, right, bro, you coming to Who Friday? Cause it's Wednesday. My, me, remember, I just met him that day. He's like, yeah, for sure. I'm like, cool, bro. I'm gonna holler at you then. So I come in for the normal hug, like dudes do. Come in like this, like, all right, boy. And when I come in like this, he opened up both his arms. And I'm coming in, but I'm trying to rationalize what is why he got both his arms open. I just met him today. I hugged my brother with two arms. Maybe he think we had like a brother kind of connection because it was a good time. I don't want it to be real weird because I just had the time of my life, so I just commit and start making that noises to make me feel more like a man. I'm like, ah, all right, boy. All right, boy, you crazy. <laughs> For sure. When I'm in the hug, his face touched mine, so I move over. I'm like, maybe he didn't know. And he come again, I feel his face, I'm like, hey, bro, your face is gay, bro, your face touching mine. He like, I am gay. <laughs> like, like you a lady, like you happy? He's like, no, I'm gay, that's why we went on this date. I'm like, we ain't going on no date, what are you talking about, bro? No date. Bro, what? bro, that ain't funny, ain't nobody else around to laugh, why you playing, bro? He's like, I'm gay, I'm like, bro, stop playing, no, you not, bro, you act like me, you talk just like me. He's like, what that supposed to mean? That you not gay, what do you mean? You didn't say bananas and prune juice, you didn't say none of that. He's like, I asked you, I'm like, you don't ask, you, you did not, ask. okay, yeah, you did ask me out, but I ain't know it was on no date. And I start thinking about everything, I'm like, I put my number in his phone, he picked me up, he bought me food, I was thinking about the pictures and everything, I'm like, this dude took me on a date. Bro, I'm not gay. I'm not gay. He's like, we can't do this again. I'm like, no. He's like, man, it's just that I had season tickets. I was like, I'm not gay, but you want to go out for some bananas and prune juice? We can talk about it. Hey, y'all, I'm Barry Brewer.